grew up in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, and so coming back to Denver is always very exciting. So getting to perform in my hometown is something that's um, very, very special, especially with the people that I'm about to share the stage with. Well, Travis called me and asked my interest. Right away, I went to ballet class, uh, <laughs> made sure I was capable of doing it, even though mentally I was just beyond honored and thrilled. You have no idea how much this woman saved us. Our leading lady, who I've grown up dancing with since I was 12, she uh, blew her knee out for the third time and she's having her third reconstructive surgery. And so we're like strapped. The, the role is very, very particular. And it's like, it's so hard to find somebody that has the training to do the jazz and to do the musical theater, at the same time be technical and beautiful, at the same time be able to hold the acting and the story all the way through because the eyes are on this leading lady the entire time. The music drives the show. You know, there's Nina Simone, there's Queen, and then there's classical piano and violin music, and then there's Benny Goodman sing, 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 and it's a roller coaster in the show. I love dancing, but actually storytelling and you know creating an experience for people is not something that you usually get to do in the commercial world. And it's it's pretty cool to go out into the audience afterwards. We see some of the fans and talk to people, and I've never had so many people cry talking to me. You know, they're just like, we're there with you. We vibe off the audience. We love the cheering, we love the screaming, we love all that stuff. Like you would do on a Broadway show, you clap after every number and uh, you know, we definitely feed off the audience's energy. Yeah. Dancing's about inspiring and you know, people, you, when you can relate to something that you're watching, you know, you've done your job as a storyteller. Oh.